Hey guys, it's Elena. Happy New Year. Uh, I know it's already like the middle of the month of January, but I've been really sick, sick these last couple weeks. Um, the few days before, the few days between Christmas and New Year's, I went to Miami with my best friend Lindsay. Um, we were there for a few days and I think that all the fun that we had on that trip <laughs> caught up with me. And so when we got back home, I started feeling kind of sick, but we had a trip to Mexico already planned. And so on like January 3rd, we left to Mexico and I was sick the whole time. And I was like sluggish. I couldn't do as much throughout the whole day and it was sucked. Um, but I'm just starting to get better now, which is good because I leave to Hawaii um, on Thursday, which is two days away from the day that I'm recording this. Hopefully I'll be able to um, post it before I leave. Um, so yeah, so all of that happened and I've been so sick, And but I've just because I'm sick doesn't mean I'm not gonna go shopping. Um, and so I've been purchasing up a bunch of stuff, especially because after Christmas, all the amazing deals come into play, all the holiday sales um, are happening and I have just been loving it. And so I picked up a bunch of stuff and I have so much stuff to show you guys in this haul. A lot of it is for my trip to Hawaii um, because I've really been focusing on finding outfits for that. I'm going to Abu Dhabi um, at the end of February or I guess the middle of February 18th. And so when I go to Abu Dhabi, I all the clothes that I bought for Hawaii, I wanted to make sure that I could also wear them in Abu Dhabi. Um, and so I've been trying to like multitask my outfits but hopefully um i do a good job of that because i know how i am and like once i wear something once i'm like eh, and then i like spend all that money on nothing um okay so first thing i want to show you guys is all the stuff i picked up at um barney's i have two huge bags worth of barney's goodies um ooh, i think i knocked down my camera um <coughs> That's, that's death. That's right there. <coughs> I'm gonna survive this haul video because it's already been so long and I have so much stuff to show you guys. This is gonna be like a 12 year haul video. Sorry. And I'm gonna take this scarf off. Um, just cause I'm like dying. Maybe I'll even take off my jacket. I have like <coughs> fever hot flashes <coughs> where I'm like freezing one minute and then the next minute I'm like sweating bullets. Anyways, okay, so the first thing I want to show you guys from Barney's is this sweatshirt I got. Can you guys see it? It's a super cute sweatshirt. Um, it's by Acne, and it cost me $139. And I got it in a large because I really wanted it to be, like, um, oversized. Because I thought, how cute would that be with, like, a pair of boyfriend jeans or oversized leggings? And then it has this kind of, like, cool I guess it's like black and white flowers but it's like a little kid drew them I don't know I just really like the color combination of the soft peachy color and the white and the black it looks really good um so there's that and so it's 139 dollars at um Barney's and then I got um these pants oh. Oh, how sweet. They write, they, the girl that I shop with wrote me a little thank you card and she slipped it in. I didn't even notice it. I think my receipt must be in there too. Um, but so I got these pants and like I need another pair of black pants. Like I need another hole in the head. Um, and when you see the rest of this haul, you'll see why. Because I like went crazy buying black pants. And But I saw these and I was like, I have to get these. They're so stunning. They fit me so well. They're so well made. And they were... $640 and they're by a brand called Protagonist and so here they are so they're just like a basic black trouser they have the pleating in the front just here and it goes all the way down the kicker of the pant so let me make sure that you guys can see the like just the top the kicker of the pant is the footing because it's shorter in the front than it is in the back it's like the little pant version of a mullet on the hem and then it also has the zipper so even though they're skinny pants you can kind of flare them out by lifting the zipper but really with that little like dimension in the um in the foot it just looks amazing and it's a really thick material which is great for winter i don't know if you can see how thick it is i don't know if it's focusing 
Um, but yeah, they are so, they look so good on. I'm obsessed with them. So cute. Okay. That's that. I'm trying to move really quickly so that you guys can see everything. Okay. Ah! Garlic bag. <laughs> um, also from Barney's, I got, it's Isabel Morant. The, gar the garment bag is probably really loud. I'm sorry, guys. It's Isabel Morant. It was only... It was only free. Um, $3.95. I got it in a size 42 France, which I think is like a size 10 US, but only because I wanted it to be kind of flowy and the smaller sizes were a little bit more um, like fit. Anyway, so this is for Hawaii and Abu Dhabi, and I know it looks a little Mrs. Roper-ish, like, you know, Three's Company Mrs. Roper, um, and, but it was so cute. So it, it's Isabel Morant at 12. You guys can't see that. It's not focusing. I'm sorry, guys. But it's just this long dress. It's kind of see-through. It has these amazing big kind of butterfly sleeves. Um... And it goes all the way to the floor, and it's like a really light fabric, but it has this fun floral print. And I thought, how great would this be with a pair of sandals in Abu Dhabi or in Hawaii? I think it'll look really great. So I got to pick that up. <coughs> and then, moving on to shoes. So, oh, I think they took them out of the box already. I already actually posted these on Instagram, but I haven't actually worn them. So they were on sale from $19.75 to $13.49.99, and they were an additional markdown from there. And I think I ended up paying like nine something for them, but these are them. They're Christian Louboutin red booties with the red studs all along them. They have about a four inch heel. They're just all red, and then they have those up. It just, they're just so rock and roll, I could not resist. And they look so good. Like, they just, they're just so beautiful. I couldn't resist it. So yeah. Oh, there's a price tag at the bottom. I need to remove that. Um, then I got Alaya. And these ones I actually got at Saks, um, not at Barney's. And they were, I don't know. Sorry, I don't know where the receipt is. But they were, I think they were like 600. Yeah, I think they were like 600. Anyways, but they're a Laia. This is a totally important designer. Um, good job if you got the clueless reference there. So they are so beautiful. They're just black pumps with cutouts all along, all around the entire shoe, peep toe. But then they have these leather laces that like wrap and like wrap around your ankle too. They look so good. They look so good. I can't like, they're just such a classic, beautiful shoe. Um, good job, Saks. Good job, Saks. So cute. Okay. And so those are Alaya. And yeah, like $600, I think is what I paid for them. Because the bottom of the shoe says that they were on sale for $10.69.99, but I know that I didn't pay that much for them. I would have never paid that much for them. Um, <coughs> so the last pair of shoes I'm going to show you also from Saks are these Ferragamo shoes and I've actually already worn these I wore them on um, Christmas Day and these were um, like $2.69 I think but what's so cute about these is that they uh, they lace up just up here they lace up with this kind of velvety and gold um, lace up thing. It has like a little tassel at the end too. Like you see the little tassel. Um, but it's a beautiful burgundy color with golden lace kind of all along. And it's all velvet. So it was such a perfect holiday shoe. So I wore it on Christmas. Um, but yeah. And there's a Ferragamo right there. I think these were the floor display because they have like the original store price tag right there. But, and I never took it off when I wore them. I hate when people do that. I hate when people don't take off their price tags of a shoe and then I do it all the time. Giant hypocrite. Um, 
So that was from Sax. Okay, one of my dogs is trying to get in, so I'm gonna go let him in. There you go. That's Jet, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, so that's my dog, Jet. This is his doggy toy. It's a little um, New York Metro card, um, but it's a <coughs> plush toy. Um, uh, my friend Natalie gave it to them for Christmas, I think last year, um, and they love it. Um, and then they also have this little avocado. We got this at PetSmart, I think, or Petco, or yeah, Petco. Um, but it's a little avocado. <coughs> Anyways, okay, so those are my dog's toys. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys, oh my god, this is going to be the longest haul ever. I'm going to be so fast. So what I want to move on to is the Honest Company, and I just recently discovered them. I know Jessica Alba owns them, so they like everybody talks about them, but I always thought they were just like baby products, like diapers and stuff. But I'm really trying to become active, um, making sure that the products that I use are not tested on animals. Uh, the Beagle Freedom Project is one of the organizations that I'm like obsessed with right now, and they actually have an app called Cruelty Cutter, and basically Basically, you can search, uh, like you can scan an item at the store to see if that company tests on animals, um, and you can see if that product is tested on animals, and you can kind of figure out, you know, whether or not you want to purchase that. And so, the Honest Company is one of the companies that basically everything that they use is cruelty free, and it's also all natural and everything. And so, I. I started getting more into it because it's so easy to just buy all your products of one brand when you know that the company is a safe company for animals. And so I per I picked up two bundles. So if you go to honest.com, um, you can buy bundles of things. And one of the bundles was um, like you it's five things, and then the bundle is only like thirty-five dollars, and then you pay shipping or whatever. Um, I don't even think you pay shipping um, because I got two bundles. And so for seventy bucks, I got so much stuff: beauty stuff, home stuff, all sorts of stuff. And it's really great because you know it's all natural, especially cleaning supplies for our dogs because they lick the floor. Because why wouldn't you lick the floor? Um, we want to make sure that there's no chemicals and stuff on that. And so um, my two. I'm not going to show you everything I got in my two bundles, but I want to show you some of the stuff that we got, just so that if you're ever interested, you can check it out. You can buy things separately. You don't have to commit to five items, um, which is how many items are in the bundle. You don't have to commit to that many items. You can buy one or two things, and Target stores actually carry a limited selection of their product line, but they have so much stuff. You can buy so much stuff on their website. So one of the things that we picked up was this Windex. I don't know if you can see it. I think that the light is like changing. I'm trying to get like window light, and I think I'm going from like, I'm like camouflaging into my wall. That's so bad. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <coughs> As the light changes. I'm trying to use natural light here. Okay, so right, so this is like window cleaner. It's like the equivalent of Windex, except that it's non-toxic. Um, it's not tested um, on animals, and it's uh, all natural kind of products from, you know, from the earth. And so that's Windex. I also got this um, air freshener. It's like the equivalent of Febreze. It smells so good. It's called Lemon Verbena. Oh my god. Mm, it's like it smells like a spa. It's it smells so good. You guys should try it. But again, no animal testing, no byproducts. Um, I got some toothpaste. I got sponges to clean dishes. Um, hold on. What else am I showing you guys? Oh, I got mouthwash. I got sunblock for Hawaii. Um, and then I got natural deodorant. I usually use fresh, um, but I decided to check this stuff out because I think fresh actually tests on animals and so I'm going to have to like wean myself off of that. I'm not saying I'm perfect. There's definitely a lot of products I use that I know that test on animals and I'm trying to kind of maneuver my way out of using those products but when you're a loyal brand follower and there's certain things like we started using the shampoo and the conditioner from the Honest Company but like I loved my shampoo and my conditioner so it's hard. It's really, really hard. I need to close this because I look, I, I like camouflage. I'm like, is this better? I feel like I'm, I mean, it's not my fault. I'm white. Like, I'm so white. I need a tan. Hawaii will do me good. Um, okay, so those were some of the Honest Company. I definitely suggest you check it out. It's a really good company and it's, you know, helps animals and doggies and all that goodness. Okay, continuing on the beauty path, when I was in Mexico, I took opportunity to explore the duty-free shops and I got a refill of my Coco Chanel number no. five, um, the Eau de Toilette. 
um, and I only paid $68 and it was duty free. So that was my Chanel number five. And then I got um, a same duty free shop. I got a two pack of the Yves Saint Laurent Du Touche Eclat. Um, and I only paid $42.88 for this and it was two of them. And I just heard my phone on silent. Um, this is my iPhone 6. Um, if any of you guys know of any places to buy cases for an iPhone 6, I have been searching Amazon, I've been going to stores, I've been checking online, and all the cases are just are ugly. And I really, this is like one from the Apple store, like the hot pink one. I also bought the black leather one, this black leather one here. Um, but they're just so, like there's, there's no like character to them or whatever. Anyways. Okay, so next thing uh, from Diptyque. Um, I stopped by the boutique, the Diptyque Boutique, um, and I bought, again, some interior scent. This is the stuff that you spray on your pillows, um, curtains and stuff, just so that when, and it's like a, what's the one that I got? Because it like, I like the, I like a, like a very soft scent when I sleep because then I feel like it's not as um, relaxed or whatever. But I forget what scent this is. I tested out so many scents. I'm just gonna open it. Here's the little bag it comes in. It's Diptyque 34. Did that say, it totally said that on the box. Sorry guys. Um, but it just, oh it smells so good. It's like, I don't know, it just smells like handsome man's like cologne. I don't know, it smells really good. But yeah, I like to spray this on like our pillows very lightly. It's not a lot um, because then it gives me a headache. It's just very natural kind of mm, smell. Okay. Okay, so then um, this is actually from Walgreens and I saw it and I thought it was so cute. It is a tiny little Vaseline and it has um, a rose tint to it, so you could use it as like a lip gloss or whatever. I haven't tried it yet, but it was only like $2.69 it was on sale. And I got Garrett one that's just a um, regular, like chapstick kind, but all it is is Vaseline. It's just a cute version of Vaseline, because it's so little. Anyways, okay. Um, next thing I wanna show you guys is I just picked up this curling iron from Gold and Hot elite it was only like twenty dollars so i can't imagine that it's amazing but the girl at the store said that it's really good because you can select what type of hair you have and that's how it determines the heat this is only a half inch um but what i do is i do really tight curls and then they fall out um and then i have like the, a good wave right now this this is not an example of it but then i have like a really good wave of hair you know like um and so that's why I get the smaller, um, what is this called? Barrel, a smaller barrel. So this is a half inch and it's a ceramic curling iron. And it's innovative technology that knows what's best for your hair type. We'll see if that's true. But I have very fine hair and so that's what I, I was looking for a curling iron that was nice to that. Oh my God, I have such a mess back here, okay. So the next thing I want to show you guys, also from Saks, I picked up this um, little Proenza Schuler card holder. It was on sale for a hundred bucks. I'm already using it, so you see all my cards inside of it. Um, but yeah, my California driver's license. Uh, but yeah, so it's just here. I'm gonna see if I can take out some of the stuff so that you guys can get a better idea. See. It's just cool, right? Like the colors are really pretty. And it's on both sides. There you go. Okay. So, next thing I'm going to show you guys is from Muji. I didn't get a bag. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Muji, the store Muji. That's how you spell it, and in Japanese. It's like a Japanese Target, I want to say. They have like home stuff, they have like writing stuff, they have clothes, they have shoes, they have all of these different types of stuff. And so it's kind of like the equivalent to me, like a Target. And every year I go there to get my yearly planner. This is it. They, I get the same one every single year. It's like $6. But what I love about this planner... <coughs> Oh, 
what I love about it is that in the first half, you have a full month. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can see that, sorry guys. Um, it's a full month and then as you go deeper in, it breaks down every single week. Um, it breaks down every single week and then gives you a piece of like paper to like write notes. And I find that very helpful for my life. Um, but it's super small, fits in my purse. I can do everything I need to do with it. And then that was, it's only $4.75. And then I also picked up an eyelash curler from there. Um, seven dollars um i haven't been using an eyelash curler for the last maybe six or seven months because the last one that i had it started like pulling out my eyelashes yeah it was bad and so i threw that away and i was like mm, i'm gonna take a break from curling my eyelashes and i was looking for my uh, the um shoot umora i think is the brand yeah shoot umora brand and i could not find it anywhere every store i went to sephora stopped ca carrying it I went to Bloomingdale's, I went to all these different stores, nobody had it, and it's a Japanese company, so I figured maybe I'll just try this Muji Japanese eyelash curler. It's made in Japan, um, and so we'll see if it's any good. I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous and a little skeptical because of the fact that the other one was pulling out my eyelashes, and that was a little scary. Anyways. Okay, so. Oh my god, we're not even like halfway through, guys. I need to hurry. Okay, so I got these yoga pants from uh, Urban Outfitters, and I lost the tag. I don't know where it went, but look how cute they are. They're kind of a looser fit. They have like pastel-y kind of motif with like a wilderness background, and it's tapered just at the leg there, um, and it has a drawstring in the front, and they're loose. They're not like skin tight. They're kind of loose, but then they're tapered. Um, and so that's the only thing I have from Urban Outfitters. Then from Forever 21, I picked up these pajamas. I haven't worn them yet, but I already washed them because, um, I don't know, like, pajamas, I feel like you have to wash them right away. Um, but they were, I think they were $16.99, but it's just a long, oversized sh pink shirt. Anyways. But it's just striped pink shirt. <coughs> and then I picked up these two belts. They're just like nude thin belts and I'll tell you why I picked these up in a second. Um, but the reason I got two of the exact same belt is because I'm gonna create a, my own wrap belt. And they were only um, $3.90 a piece and I got the medium large versions. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like put this through here and just create like a longer version of the same belt to wrap. And I'm gonna use it to wrap my Mrs. Roper dress, the one that I got at Barney's. So this will go around my waist a few times, like this, and have like more dimension or whatever. Um, and so I'm gonna wrap my, uh, to like kind of cinch the waist of my Mrs. Roper dress, I'm gonna use this. I'm also probably gonna use it with this jumper that I got at Forever 21. It's just this navy blue and white creamy colored um, jumper. It has like sleeves, um, a v-neck, and a wider leg here. I'm gonna wear this while I'm in Hawaii, probably when I go to Abu Dhabi. Can you see? Mm. Um, and I'm gonna cinch the waist with like a brown belt um, and then wear my bathing suit underneath it. And it was on sale for like $19.80, I think, and then it was buy one, get one free. First off, it's not marked as on sale. It's marked like regular price, and so I thought it was regular price. We should ring it up. She was like, oh, it's on sale for like $19 and whatever cents. <coughs> and so she was like, and all the sale stuff is buy one, get one free. So I was like, great. So she's like, do you want to leave this up here and go look for something else? And I'm like, okay, first off, Forever 21 is such a shit show, so it's already a pain in the ass. But I was like, well, it's free. I gotta at least go look for it. And so while I was looking for something, I just found these pants, and I actually got them in a size large. Um, and they were free, but they should have been $15.99. Um, and it was just, it's just this, see here? Like they're just like this tropical print, perfect for Hawaii. Um, they're kind of oversized, which is fine by me. Um, and it's like, again, this tropical floral motif, purple, blue, green, perfect. And I have a great bathing suit that I'm gonna wear underneath that as well. Okay. Next up is Nordstrom's Rack, my favorite store ever. I love the Nordstrom's Rack so much. Um, every time I go in there, I'm just like, you guys are the best. You guys are the best. I love the Nordstrom's Rack. 
Um, so the first thing that I got were these Valentino sunglasses. They were $69.97. And this is what they look like. They're cute, right? The lady at the store was helping me. And like I tried on like four pairs. And one of them, she was like, no. The other one, she was like, it's okay. The third one, she was like, oh, that's nice. And then I tried on these and she was like, those are the ones. And I was like, yeah, yeah. But they have the little studding right there. Do you see that? The little gold studding. And they're kind of like a cat eye, but not too much. And then they're like a nice, like, whiny Merlot color, which I'm upset. I, I am like, I have so many pairs of black sunglasses or turtle, tortoise skin, tortoise shell, like, type sunglasses. Like, I am all about getting colored sunglasses now. Just have a little bit of fun with it. But yeah, Valentino. No, I and then I got this Topshop tank top for Hawaii and Abu Dhabi. And it's just a white tank top from Topshop. And it was $19.97. But look at the back. I don't know if you can see this little, like, arch right here. It still has, like, a sheer panel at the bottom. But that um, the silky material kind of ends with this arch. It's very cute and very summery and flowy. And it'll look good with a lot of stuff. And then I got these um, ALC pants in a size 8. They were $169.97. Um, and they're just navy blue kind of trousers with an elastic uh, waist. But they have, um, they have buttons all along the side like this. And they're just like a really great kind of like jogger pant. And they're like a really stark steady material. One of the things I love about ALC is that their materials just always feel like heavy and like but like not in a hot way, in like a quality way. And I just really like that. And so these navy blue kind of trousers. And then I got this sweater, also ALC, to go with it. And it was $114.97. And it's just this plaid navy blue, black, and white um, sweater. And it has like a, the bottom is like, what is this? The bottom is like tapered, I guess. And so are the sleeves, and it's just so cute. The two of them together, it's like a perfect outfit. Okay, also from Nordstrom, and I've actually already worn this because I wore this on New Year's Eve. Um, and I forget how much I paid for it because I, I took the tags off when I wore it. Um, but it's a Robert Rodriguez white dress with like a feathery skirt to see. Ooh. Isn't that cute? And I wore it with just like a motorcycle jacket and a pair of like strappy black shoes. Um, but yeah, and, but if you look, the top of the dress is almost like a fishnet material with an underlay. It's very nice and it has like, um, it has like these, I don't know if you can see that. I'm still wearing these sunglasses so it's hard for me to see what's on the screen. Oh, um, it has these kind of like cutouts here. And so that looks really, <coughs> that looks really good. Anyways, it was, it was very flattering because of those little, those little, the ribbing. I don't know if it's ribbing, that like design or whatever uh, and then I got these J brand boyfriend jeans they're white and normally I would avoid those but they were nine dollars and 98 cents and they were J brand and so I was like hey um but they're just like a pair of boyfriend jeans they have like the cuts you know again really great for Hawaii uh I got these in a 29 because that they were the only ones in the store and they were nine dollars 98 cents I'm normally a 27 um but I figured for a boyfriend jean, they're supposed to be loose and baggy anyway, so I got them. And $10 for a pair of J brand jeans. I know, right? Okay. So then the next thing I got was a pair of, another pair of J brand jeans for $54. And they're size 28 because they were the only ones. And they're the Martini Mid Rise in Skinny Flare. And they're this really beautiful blue color. And then it has like a really great flare right there which I am getting really into the flare lately, so I wanted to get these um, to kind of rock them out with like a really great big pair of heels or wedges um, and like a a nice like flowy, I don't know, I don't know how what shirt I'd wear with them yet, but I'm gonna figure it out. <coughs> so next thing from H&M, I got them for 20 bucks are just these faux leather jogger pants. They have an elastic waist. Um, they kind of taper towards the leg. They're really baggy drawstring. There's a drawstring. And then they have a little pocket in the back. Super cute. Here's the, they also come with pockets and it's a faux leather. 
uh, from Bloomingdale's, I got these Rag and Bone. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys these before. I don't think I have. But um, I got these Rag and Bone pants here. They have um, a tapered leg. They um, pockets, the belt buckles, and it's this really beautiful kind of creamy gray color. I don't know if you can get a good, if you can get a good look at that. Um, and they're just really cute kind of trousers. Simple. Also from Bloomingdale's, I uh, got a new pair of UGG boots. They have a little ribbons. The only reason I got the ones with the ribbons is because they were $89. Um, and I was like, that's a really good deal for a pair of black UGGs. Um, I, when I walk the dogs, I walk them in UGG shoes. And the ones that I had before, I think I had had for like seven years. And they had seen their day and it was time to say goodbye. Like no amount of cleaning would have been able to save those shoes. I had, I had given them a good life. And it was okay to say goodbye and so I just got these black ones to kind of replace them I don't wear them as a fashion statement I do not think that they're like outfit shoes I think that they are errand shoes and so I wear them when I walk the dogs um, but yeah and then from Zara which is on sale right now too I got this super cute black and white checkered um, blouse it has um, it's kind of a uh, silhouetted so that it comes in a little bit and it has these different panelings but it's all black and white checkered and then the sleeves um have a cuff here which looks really good and it's a v-neck um and it just kind of is flowy around my tummy area which is nice because that's where i need the help um also from zara i got this white shirt that i'm gonna wear when i'm in hawaii it's a tank top shirt but it's a little bit cropped just in the front here because it has this little like elastic detail I don't know if you can see that. Super cute, super easy to wear. Um, just throw it on with anything. Okay, so from Topshop. I um, remember when I was talking about the black pants situation. This is the black, back, this is the black pant situation. Um, I bought three pairs of black pants from Topshop. So the first ones are just these ankle trousers. They're just like a regular pair of trousers. They come to just around about the ankle. And the reason that I got them was because they were like $20. I'm not even kidding you, like $20. And they're just like super basic kind of cigarette -y type pants, except that they're straight leg. Um, super easy, super cute, nothing too crazy. Then I got these also for $20 and they're just kind of like a jogger pant tapered at the bottom. Um, kind of harem -y in the front so they're loose and baggy, like really loose and baggy in the front. Um, and just easy to wear, super simple. Last, a pair of black cigarette pants, like true cigarette pants. Let's jet shaking it off. Um, but yeah, they even have a little cut out there. Super simple, super whatever. Then I got this clutch, faux fur, wraps around like this. Super cute, right? Like, just like, mm -hmm. easy. Easy, breezy, beautiful. Okay, so, one more thing I want to show you guys from Barney's. They're just this pair of rag and bone jeans in a size 28. I got a 28 because um, I tried the 27 and they were way too tight. So maybe I'm a 28 more than I am a 27. Um, but they're just like a really dark blue and then they have this zipper and the zipper is on the back of the ankle. Oh, it looks so good with a pair of like pointy toed heels and they're like navy blue, they're rag and bone, super basic wash, nothing too special, kind of a darker wash. Um, yeah. Super cute, and these were $89 as well at Barney's. Um, I'm not gonna show you guys that stuff now because it's going way long and I just wanna be fast. Um, last thing I wanna show you guys, and this was actually a Christmas present, but I used it already when I went to Miami and when I went to Mexico, and I'm obsessed with it, and everybody should go buy one. They're available at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, my Aunt Beatrice actually gave it to me for Christmas. Um, as like we, every year for Christmas, uh, we do like our favorite things. So instead of buying everybody um, a bunch of presents, like everybody contributes to like 10 kits and we do like Oprah's favorite things. And what that is, is like the stuff that was your favorite throughout the whole year, you put in this kit and then you give everybody gets one. So you can turn them on to new products and new things. Um, and so this was one of her things. It's called the hoodie pillow and it's a 
like a pillow that you put around your neck like you do on airplanes but it has a hood and it covers your eyes so you get total privacy it's totally awesome and the pillow is inflatable so you inflate it when you get on the plane you deflate it when you get off of it you don't have to worry about lugging this giant pillow around with you all the time it's super comfy it's like a sweatshirt material so it's awesome um but yeah i guess the creator of this was on the show shark tank and anyways it's awesome this is an amazing invention. If you know somebody who travels a lot and who likes to be comfortable and likes to be left alone, this is the perfect gift for them. Um, mine is the gray one. I put it back in the thing. I don't know how much it costs because it was a Christmas present, but it's available at Bed Bath & Beyond because that's where she got it. Um, but yeah, favorite things. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so that is everything I think yeah, I mean, there's so much, there's so much stuff around here. I don't even know if I showed you guys everything, but you guys get the gist. Anyways, thanks for watching my haul. Hope everybody had a great new year and a happy holiday. Um, and I will be in touch soon um, with more stuff. Maybe I'll even do a vlog when I'm in Hawaii. Probably not because I don't know how to do a vlog. I would need to like get a different kind of camera, I think. Who cares? All right.